Hey, <laughs> I'm V, and today we're eating like Alexa's Ren. Alexis Ren was one of Instagram's first Instagram model slash famous person influencer situation. She got famous way back in the day when Instagram was first invented yeah. with her and her boyfriend Jay Alvarez doing kind of like dream slash goal vacation video. Like Daddy Nick and I also made some vacation videos and I think ours are better personally. <sighs> Although Jay and her have since split and gone their separate ways, she still remains top Instagram, skinny legend, aesthetic queen, etc, etc. She recently started posting what she eats on her YouTube channel and we're going to try to eat what she eats. She is very, very, very thin. However, she has uh, mentioned she has had eating disorders in the past, but she's doing her best right now and I want to congratulate her. I think that's really cool. She's eating a lot of super foods, a lot of healthy foods. Um, so we're going to try that today. I went to Whole Foods to buy all the ingredients that she uses in her food because they are only things you can pretty much only get at Whole Foods. I ended up spending a hundred and seventy dollars and I don't think we have more food than for three four days we don't even really have any dinner so um, I only did this video for one day if you guys want me to do it for a whole week or a whole month to see how much weight I lose and see how much my body changes give this video a thumbs up so I know there's like interest and then I'll stick to that diet for a whole month and like make other content meanwhile I have some pre-filmed videos that I can post like I already have like a Victoria's Secret model video and a 10,000 calorie challenge video and I have Stephanie Buttermore's cheat day filmed so if you guys really want I can do Alexis Ren for the next month just let me know what you think Hello my little sweet potato wedges. Right now I'm going to show you what Alexis Ren buys. Um, I thought this was quite interesting because it made me feel like a witch because all these potions and lotions and goji berries mixed together into one pot to make me a skinny legend seemed like a ton of fun until I saw the price tag. I'm sorry I'm rich and you're not. Each one of these like supplement things is like $10 and I feel like they're not really food. They're just like things to put on food but we didn't really get any actual food. We just got kale blueberries, pepitos, carrots, and pomegranate seeds that started getting moldy after 24 hours. So somebody call the police or Jesus, bye. You guys know that when I eat like someone, I don't just eat like them. I also live like them. I do my makeup like them, my hair like them. Today we have a sponsor, it's Function of Beauty, and I'm really excited to tell you about their shampoo and conditioner because it's formulated just for you. So they're sponsoring this video, big shout out. I'll tell you more about that when we get to the hair part. Let's go, this. So Lexi Ren here looks like an absolute doll without makeup. Me on the other hand, um, <clears throat> so I got a few milk makeup products to test because I thought they would make me look like a glowy goddess. Boy was I wrong. I used a foundation which made me look very sweaty and I can assure you I haven't been doing any strenuous physical activity like unloading the dishwasher or going up the stairs. So it's their fault, it's not mine. Please tell me if you've tried any milk makeup products. The one thing I did really like though, in all seriousness, is like their brow stuff because it lightened my eyebrows from dark brown to like ashy brown, which looked way better with my like hair. So I'm actually thankful that I tried this. Their sticks of disappointment crushed my natural glowy skin soul. They did nothing except make me look even more sweaty. So here I am in, in the wilderness, bye. Here I am making you a potion, blessing you with that good hair, that good grades, and those good foods. Hello, so let's talk about hair. I think we all have different hair types, like straight, wavy, curly, coily. So I didn't want to just recommend you any generic shampoo and conditioner, because I don't know if it'll work for you, and I never want to sell you guys something that like doesn't work. So I'm so happy that Function of Beauty is sponsoring this video, because listen, listen, they make you a custom hair formula unique to your hair. So they're not just giving everyone the same bottle. Every single bottle bottle they make is formulated individually. Can you believe this? No two formulas have ever been the same. Isn't that crazy? Like I'm shook. So all you have to do is go click the link in the bio and then you fill out like a quick little quiz that basically says like, do you have straight hair, wavy? Like how's your hair structure? Is it fine? And then is your scalp moisture? Is she a dry hoe? But for the conditioner, I decided to go with unscented because listen, my skin, she's a sensitive hoe. So I didn't want 
any kind of fragrance like making her irritated and giving me zits. So you can do no fragrance or you can do any fragrance. Like if your skin isn't sensitive, do whatever fragrance you like. They have some really yummy smelling ones. And their formulas don't have any parabens, sulfates, GMOs, toxins. They're 100% vegan and cruelty free. Time to create a breakfast potion. Welcome to my Parisian kitchen. So for breakfast, Alexis has a smoothie bowl. I added up the cost of everything she uses and it equals $94. <laughs> $94! I feel like with that I can buy a whole planet, like Jupiter or something. Today we're going to be making Alexis Ren smoothie for breakfast, smoothie bowl I guess. The main ingredients are berries and almond milk, which I love because they have that at home. But guess what else I don't have? The 73 supplements she puts inside. Um, I agree that supplements are healthy. They just cost a lot of money. Ashwagandha, L-glutamine, um, a tablespoon of waxy collagen. Get a little digestive enzyme and I open it up and I put it into my smoothie. So these are digestive enzymes. Apparently they make you digest food. Enzymes is like what is the catalyst of a reaction. You are so dumb. But I don't know um, its effectiveness if you break open the pill because somebody said the gelatin around the pill actually helps it get to your small intestine or, or I don't know, it, it, it gets somewhere. You are really dumb. To where it helps it digest. If you break it open, it doesn't get there. I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you know. These are the items you'll need for your smoothie. I mean, honestly, if it was me, I would just do almond milk and berries, but whatever. There is more stuff in this smoothie than dolls in my mom's basement. I'll put all the products in the description if you want to try to make it for yourself. Let me know how much it cost you or if you had all these things in your house. But the digestive enzymes, almond milk, stevia, protein powder, chia seeds, flax seeds, ashwagandha, collagen, it's all in here. Don't forget to top it with money. Oh, I mean mulberries, goji berries, cacao nibs, and protein granola. Okay, we're gonna try it. Really nice, but I really hate packaged protein in my sweet food. Like, it just overpowers everything, you guys. I bet this is like packed full of nutrients. Mm. I wish I could give you some like over the screen. My only recommendation is take the protein out. My spoons, they're from Anthropology. you guys always ask me. We only have one set of these because they're all really expensive and I really treasure it. And we're gonna have them forever, so I thought it was worth it. I mean, one day I'll get like a full set of four for them. Um, the other gold spoons I have, just plain gold, and they were cheaper. They're from Crate and Barrel and they were like the regular price that spoons are. I'll link them down in the description if you guys want. I literally hate putting things away. I wish there was someone like a assistant to just follow me around and put things away. Like, could you imagine how easy all of our lives would be? Or like not a person because I don't know, I would feel bad, but maybe a robot that just put things back after you used them. Genius idea. Genius idea. Don't steal it from me. I will call the police. <laughs> You want to look like Alexis, you better start working out like Alexis because there is no magic spell that'll give you a slim, thick bod, honey. Me and Nick are working out. Yeah. Just, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. You skip leg day. Do that. I know. So I Thick. Through. What about that? I, <laughs> I skip leg day? Everything's leg day. My well done. Alright guys, I'm sure you have to do a pull up like a professional. Only professionals know how to do this, so. Don't. Come on. Shut up. Oh. Wow, you should be a UFC fighter, B. After saving the planet, I grew quite an appetite for lunchtime. I'm starving! Lunchtime, 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 lunchtime! What are we having for lunch? 
salad. So for lunch, we're ha my hair, I look like Hermione Granger today. I am so sorry, like I'm done with it too. Um. Okay, so for lunch, what we're having a cheeky little kale salad. The fun thing here is that we get to try something called tempeh, which is a soy-based vegan protein. I got it in this smoky barbecue, which I think will be really nice. Nick tried it last night. I didn't try it because I wanted my real reaction to be on camera because I'm a terrible actress. But this is what it looks like. It smells like dog food and bacon, but you know, I'm here for the animals. If this will help, the only reason I can't 100% get into veganism is because I think when we don't buy the food at the grocery store, the meat, they just throw it away. And that bothers me more, like, for an animal to die and then to like get thrown away is just like. So this is what you're gonna need for the salad. And these are the main ingredients and then there's also like hemp seeds and chickpeas. I don't understand people that are like, I eat one night and avocado a day. How? When it turns brown after two seconds. How? How? How do you do that? Uh, carrots. Somebody clocked me in the last video for having a white carrot. There's white carrots. I think they're dyed, but I'm not 100% sure. And she said half a pepper, but we're gonna use like one whole. Oh. Here's a video of me cutting things with an actual chef's knife. Wow, I actually really enjoyed this salad. It's not actually that crazy and expensive until you start putting like the toppings on top, but before then, it's a normal salad. It's rain and tempeh. Hallelujah, it's rain and tempeh. This salad is looking so good, and my grandpa's always told me that you have to eat like a rainbow of colors. It's like the healthiest, so this would probably, uh, he'd be pretty proud of this salad. Recipes in the description box, but basically add hemp seeds. I always put in like too much balsamic on everything I do. It's like a character trait at this point. B12, which is really good if you don't eat meat. A little bit of garlic salt, chickpeas, our special ingredient spice, and that's it. I hope you washed your hands because we have to become masseuses. Which honestly, I heard that if you massage your kale, it becomes a lot softer. So, I mean, this bitch needs regular massages. It's actually so good. Holy shit balls. Wow. I'm gonna eat salad now. I'm a salad girl now, huh? You know, there's horse girls. I'm a salad girl. So I'm gonna sit here and watch some YouTube. I think I'm gonna watch Taylor Ard's video or Jeffree Star's new collection launch, The Blue Blood. I wonder if I can get more than one of those palettes because I wanna buy like one for you guys and one for my friend. We're trying the tempeh. It's like a creamy nut. It's not bad. It has like a weird nut texture. It doesn't look like Alexa stays at home and cooks a lot for dinner. So the most popular thing she posts on her Snapchat story, Instagram story is sushi. It looks like she goes to this really popular sushi restaurant when she's in LA called Catch. It's really nice and bougie and like I would never normally eat there, but we just hit half a million. Oh my God, thank you so much. I love you to pieces. I wish I could take all of you there. Oh my God. So I decided to take my dad and Nick to Catch in LA. I mean, Catch, there's one in Vegas. Um, hello. So that's what we're going tonight. Okay. I got it. All right, dad. Thanks. See you soon. Mm -hmm. See you. Bye. Bye. Just called my dad. I invited him to dinner with Nick and I so we can celebrate half a million together. I'm just curling my hair now with this janky ass iron that I've burnt myself with like 10 times already. Okay, so hear me out. It's a little janky and messy, but I think it's okay. Like I'm too lazy to make it perfect. It's like the messy look, you know? Once again, I have nothing to wear. This closet is a mess as always. I love this jacket. Maybe I'll wear this. My plan is to do a black turtleneck with this like neon bodysuit over and then like a gray blazer. Just hear me out, okay? And then this over it. I didn't have time to show you my full outfit because I was running until the last minute. Again, wow, great. We had reservations at 7.15, but at catch reservations don't really mean anything. It's like more of a general rule, so we didn't get seated till eight, lol. Guys, I see my dad. Hold on, I gotta get closer. There's Kate. This is the entrance to catch. It's absolutely gorgeous for photos. If anyone knows this couple, would you please let them know? I have the best video of them. The whole booth to myself. Nick and dad sat on the same side. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> we got a whole ass seafood tower, you guys. Dad, the photographer, took a picture. <laughs> the apple of your eye, huh? <laughs> yeah, so we've got a bunch of sushi down here, sashimi. Um, and then up here we have like crab, lobster. We got a tartar trio. Bye, Dad. 
video okay so i hope you guys really like that video look at me finishing something i'm finishing a video giving you a conclusion can you believe it strap down in your seat i really enjoyed alexis ryan's diet i thought it was really fun really healthy i feel really clean on the inside like like my liver has been detoxified from all the other shit i put in it but the cost of the food you don't have to spend so much money on superfoods to be healthy if you eat plain foods like fresh foods and vegetables and even frozen fruits and vegetables and lean meat or no meat just vegan soy uh tofu you can still be healthy you don't have to spend this much money on food and um i know that some people have the choice and if you do have the choice spending money on food is the best investment you can make i agree with that i think it is the best thing you can do for your body is to eat healthy however some people don't have the choice to buy $15 goji berries to put in their salad because for them, that's like a sack of potatoes, oatmeal, peanut butter, and eggs. That's also $15. And I feel like don't feel bad if you can't afford this stuff because I think most people can't, but I'm not 100% sure. I just think that what we see in the influencer world isn't always true because they're disproportionately advantaged and also like they have to film things to make it interesting for you when it's not interesting people don't watch so it's like <sighs> influencer life and like what i show in my videos and what everyone else shows is not real life so please don't think you have to eat like this and that you can't afford it and you don't know what you're going to do you can still be healthy without paying all this money to eat so i just wanted to come on here and just say that like i understand that investing in your health is very important but please don't feel bad if you can't buy the goji berries just buy whole foods even buying a pack of frozen spinach and frozen raspberries is in my opinion way better than buying goji berries mulberries hemp hearts um almond like i don't know that's just what i think let me know what you guys think in the description let me know about the cost of stuff what you thought i think it is a healthy diet i think it's one of the healthiest diets i've done um i don't think it's personally sustainable for my budget i spent 170 dollars and that food will probably last me about a week um at most i don't even have dinners i don't have anything so let me know what you think let me know if you want me to try it for a month um i would do my best just give this video a thumbs up so we can get like a little bit more traction so i can actually have the money to do the video for a month and i'll tell you the full cost and how my body changed since i'm here to end the video if you do want to follow me on instagram it's blair walnuts and i do have a secret channel called blairy walnutty where me and nick just post goofball stuff like I think we tried Glossier products. I showed you the behind the scenes of the 10,000 calorie video It's just like fun goofy stuff that me and Nick do on there if you do want to see it Nick also has his own channel um, And then oh my god the best part of this video I just want to say thank you guys so 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 much from the bottom of my heart for half a million subscribers I'm so grateful like I have made videos for like I've tried so hard for this. It means a lot to me and I hope that I could do a meet and greet soon. I just don't know where, how to arrange this kind of situation. I don't want anyone to pay. I want it to be like a free meet and greet situation. So let me know if you guys have any ideas. I want to do one in Vegas before me and Nick leave. Why are we leaving? We're moving to Europe. Or I guess not Europe. We're moving to England. <laughs> me and Nick decided since I got half a million subscribers and we can sustain ourselves. He has money saved up from real estate because I know that was a big question. It was like, how are you going to work in England? We're not. I make money online and he has money saved up. So make money online fast, <laughs> if you know that joke. <laughs> um, so we're going to move to England for a few months to short term. We are applying for visas right now and we have an appointment on at the British Embassy in LA so nerve-wracking but i was just like overly detailed and like truthful in my application because i don't want to accidentally mess up something so i just told them everything and so i they're they're probably like girl this is too much information but i'm like please let me in your country <laughs> so yeah me and nick are moving to england for a few months i'm really excited we're probably moving at the end of next month um so yeah thank you guys so much i love you and bye